we believe that 5G standalone is a really great opportunity to offer the, some innovative customer service to actual our customer. And we also believe that 5G slicing based on the 5G standalone and exposure will play a very important role. However, in the meantime, we also clearly see the increasing complexity when it comes to the operational and also E2E architecture. So this is the point where we also see that this automation will play a very important role. And we are really happy to be working with Blue Planet about this automation journey. It is quite usual that most of the operators, they use the multi-vendor configuration. However, at least when it comes to the dynamic slicing, which means we need to provide the lifecycle management for the, some slice based on our customer demand. We have to provide the, such a lifecycle management into the entire end-to-end -end domain. And this is exactly the point that we believe the multi-domain orchestration will really kick in and then play the very key role to provide the really end-to-end -end like management framework of this slice as well as the general automation. Right now, I must confess that we are heavily discussing what would be the best way to provide the cost-effective 5G private network with some you know, edge capability and so on. And I must say that together with some you know, hyperscaler discussion, we think that we don't have the one solution fit all of the demand coming from the from the, our customer, somehow we need to come up with a multiple solution for the, this 5G campus network. But on, but on, on the top of the, those the things, we also believe that our customer, they also need more customization of the, their demand, as well as the simple operation. And we believe that this like orchestration capability, particularly the MDO, and then bit of the like end-to-end -end service assurance, they will be the really essential for such a, like a private network and the campus network that we are currently working. So I think we are, we all together, right, those telecom blue plan, we are going into the right direction, at least to, to meet the customer demand. We clearly see the demand from our enterprise customer about the dynamic slides. And it's mainly because, okay, we need uh, some slides, but we don't need a slice for all the time. We just need a slice, for example, like uh, some time base and location base. And then once our business is done, you can simply get it back. And then you ju we just pay for what we have actually got from the operator side. So this is exactly the point that we think that dynamic slicing it's going to be really important for the, our customer, like uh, product and so on. Let me put it like this. But on the other hand, if you look at the actual like OSS system of the operator, particularly like uh, Brownfield operator, like uh, Deutsche Telekom, we see that there are really lots of the complexity to integrate the such orchestration capability into the OSS. We are, you know, we are heavily working on that thanks to your support.